hook grip versus mixed grip. Which is better? What are the pros and cons? I don't know. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball yeah! Alright, but for serious now, let's talk about hook grip first. Well, first off, what is hook grip? Well, hook grip is when the bar is held like, well, this. Hook grip is what all Olympic weightlifters use to snatch and clean their barbells. Hook grip involves wrapping the thumb around the bar first and then the rest of the fingers, creating a very sturdy yet painful grip. Let's talk pros. With hook grip, probably the number one thing is that your shoulders are in rotational symmetry. What this means is now you won't have to deal with one shoulder being internally rotated while the other is externally rotated. Here's a demonstration of how both shoulders are rotated the same way. So now when you take your grip on the bar, it is much more symmetrical than the mixed grip would be. Number two, there's much less of a chance of the bar drifting. Number three, in my opinion, it is much easier to lock the lats in, or as you've probably heard, bend the bar. And again, the point of bending the bar is simply to keep the bar close to your body at all times. Now here I'm just demonstrating what I mean by bending the bar or locking your lats in. As you see, it's a subtle movement, but this movement allows you to keep the bar close to your body during the lift. The one major flaw behind hook grip is, it fucking hurts. There are many big name powerlifters and lifters in general who have attempted to switch over to the hook grip only to go back to a mixed grip or even just using straps because they couldn't deal with the pain. Now saying that, there are plenty of successful lifters and powerlifters who do use the hook grip, so take that with a grain of salt. Let's talk mixed grip. So mixed grip is much more common. You probably see people using it in your gym all the time. It is when one hand is supinated and the other is pronated. The point of this grip is, as the bar tries to drift out of one hand, it rolls into the other. My first pro of the mixed grip is that it's much more practical. It takes a lot less time to learn and I've never really had an issue teaching it to somebody. So what's wrong with the mixed grip then? Well, the biggest thing is now your shoulders are no longer in rotational symmetry. The problem with this is that the bar may drift to one side of your body if you are not constantly keeping the bar as close to your body as you can. This potentially increases the risk of injury as well. So here I'm demonstrating what I mean by shoulders no longer in rotational symmetry. As you can see, one shoulder is internally rotated while the other is externally rotated, which causes a few postural issues, as you can see when I grab the bar. So to remedy this, you need to really make sure your lats are tight and pulling the bar against your shins the whole lift. What can happen if this is not kept in check is as you see here, the bar can drift towards one side. Though not common, it is a possibility and could increase your risk of injury using this grip. Another issue with the mixed grip is that some people find it harder to lock their lats in. Unlike the hook grip, the mixed grip has one arm externally rotated and one internally rotated. On one side, they usually find it much easier to pull the bar into them than on the other. So in conclusion, is one really better than the other? Well, if you look at it from an optimal standpoint, most people would probably say the hook grip because your technique could be a bit better now that you can keep the lats tight, but there are plenty of successful powerlifters and lifters who have used a mixed grip for years and years and years throughout their career and have never had an issue. In the end, you need to try out both and see what works for you. That's all for today's video, guys. I will see you next time. I'm good. I'm gonna voice over this so you can make noise. Like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Ah!